Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're going to be looking at my third of three videos on fractions. In this video we're going to be looking at fractions of an amount. So our objectives set by Edexcel are we need to be able to find a third, a quarter, a fifth and a tenth of a value. The keywords for today's lessons are thirds, quarters, fifths, tenths, whole number and shapes. So thirds, quarters, fifths and tenths have been covered in my fractions video. Um, we've also got a video on simplifying fractions, um, so check those out as well. The common mistakes that people make with this particular topic is people are quite happy that a fraction can be a rectangle or a pizza or a cake. But when it comes to fractions of an amount, sometimes people get confused, but I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen. And also lack understanding on equivalent fractions. So check out my video on simplifying for that. So when we're working out fractions of an amount, um, there's a specific way that we can do this. So half of 100, I want 100 split into two equal bits. And I've got one of those, so I'm doing 100 divided by 2, which gives me 50. If I was doing a third of 30, again, I'm splitting 30 into three equal bits, and I'm getting one of those. So I'm doing 30 divided by 3 equals 10. A quarter of 44, so I'm doing 44, and I'm splitting it into four equal bits, and I've got one of those. So I'm doing 44 divided by 4 equals 11. And one more example, a fifth of 35. I'm splitting 35 into 5 equal bits. And I've got one of those. So I'm doing 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Don't forget, your denominator or your bottom number is how many equal parts you've broken something into. Now at entry three, we're always going to be dealing with unit fractions. So we're always going to have fractions with a one as our top number, a one as our numerator. So our way of working out fractions of an amount is our amount divided by our denominator. So amount divided by the bottom number. When we get to level one, we don't always have a one on the top, but we'll look at those when we get there. Okay, I would like you to give these a go for me, please. So pause the video and give these a go. Don't forget, it's your amount divided by your denominator. Okay, let's see how you got on. So 18 divided by 2 is 9. 60 divided by 3 is 20. 28 divided by 4 is 7. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 100 divided by 10 is 10. 99 divided by 3 is 33, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. A lot of these questions will come up on the non-calculator, so if you're struggling with dividing, check out my video on bus stop division. Let's have a look at a few examples of exam questions then. Now this question also appeared in my um, equivalent fractions video because it can be answered as an equivalent fractions or it can be answered as a fractions of an amount question. So let's have a look at it from a fractions of an amount point of view. So Ellery goes to a horse riding class. There are 15 people in total in the class. Five people in the class are disabled. Ellery thinks that a fifth of the people in the class are disabled. Is Ellery correct? Okay, let's see. As I've said, it was in my fractions, um, it was in my simplifying fractions amount and we could have answered it as in the fact that 5 fifteenths is equal to a third, so no, he's not correct. To do it from a fractions of an amount point of view, if there was 15 people in total and Ellery thinks that one fifth of the people are disabled, we're trying to work out what one fifth of 15 is. So 15 divided by five is three. Ellery thought it was going to be five, so no, it's not, it's three. Okay, let's have a look at a two mark question. Again, non-calculator, got to practice that bus stop division. So the total number of downloads in June was 976. A quarter of these downloads were in the first week of June. How many downloads were in June? Pause and give it a go, please. Okay, let's see how you got on. Hopefully you recognize that a quarter was one over four. 
If not, check out my first video on fractions. So we were doing 976 divided by 4. I will quickly do the bus stop method here. Oops, sorry, that's not my best writing I've ever done. Uh, 976 divided by 4. So how many 4s in 9? There are 2, remainder 1. How many 4s in 17? 4, 8, 12, 16. So there's 4, remainder 1. And how many 4s in 16? There are 4. So 244. With this particular question, I was getting one mark for my process. So one mark for knowing I was dividing by 4 and one for my answer. Let's have a look at another one. Brett designs page in a newspaper. The page has a length of 36 centimetres. An advert will take one third of the length of this page. Brett says the advert needs to be 10 centimetres. Is Brett correct? Pause and give it a go, please. OK, let's check it out. Hopefully 36 divided by 3 is 12. So you got 36 divided by 3 is 12 and no. Now, don't forget, at entry 3, you will have a yes, no tick box. Um, as part of your options, but by the time we get to level one, we need to get into the habit of writing the words yes or no. Let's do one more. Uh, the gym has a special offer on its membership. So pay for 12 months of membership, save a third of the cost. The cost of 12 months of membership is £180. Max thinks he's going to save £50 with this special offer. Is Max correct? Pause and give it a go, please. Okay, let's check it out. 180 divided by 3 is 60, so no, a third 60 pound, not 50 pound. So what we've looked at today is finding fractions of an amount. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, any questions, please pop in the comments. Best of luck with your studies and please like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.